I'm indebted to someone here on YouTube. I'm sorry, sir, I don't remember your name, but um, um, I came across a comment on well, one of my um, videos that I put up asking if I had ever finished this ship. And I thought I had, and I, and I went back and I checked, and I did. I did put a final video up. Um, but instead of being a video, it was one of those little short things uh, with no, uh, with no um, narration or, at all or anything. So, uh, yeah, so, what, four years later, here we are with this uh, ship, showing off this finished ship. Um, to save you scrolling back down through four years' worth of my videos... Um, basically, I made this ship. It was a way to use up uh, some parts that I was amassing. I mean, um, I had an awful lot of tank kits for various builds, and um, tank kits tend to be, you can use an awful lot of parts of it, but the turrets usually are left behind. There's no real need for a turret. So this was a, a, a project to, just to use up two turrets. We've got this one, this rounded one up top, and I can't remember what tank that's from. And on the underneath, you might recognise that. That's the uh, the M42 Bulldog Tamiya uh, um, tank turret. So this was um, um, a project just to use those two up. And what I decided to do was, between the two, I, I cut out wings out of one piece of plasticard, one whole length, and then stuck these top and bottom. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, kit bashed. And I deliberately made this in the style of a Terran Trade Authority ship, um, save your scrolling or anything, um, back in the late 70s. Four books were released under something called the Terran Trade Authority. And basically what it was, they're beautiful books, um, A4 size. One page would be given over to a full page reproduction of a classic piece of um, 70s science fiction craft um, by the likes of Chris Foss and Peter Elson, uh, Angus Mackay, etc., etc. And a story was written about, the, the, there was a backstory written for the ship and what was going on in the universe. And uh, massive influence on me and many, many others. They're very fondly... Uh, thought of and remembered and I thought I would do it in um, this in in a style of um, one of those because very often the spaceships are rather outlandish designs you think how on earth can that fly how can it land how does somebody get in it um, gives you a lot of freedom when you don't have to worry about things like that and that's what I love about them and also you would have outlandish color schemes um, this is rather subdued compared to some. There's no checkerboard pattern. There's no bright, vibrant colours. Um, I've gone for a, you, you know, a very um, Thunderbird 2 green, and if I'm doing that, the contrast has to be yellow, hasn't it? So there we are. That's what it is. A bit frog-like, I think. Oh, and also the top, the two um, uh, cockpits are just, um, yeah, uh, clear. I think these are from EMA, clear. Uh, domes. What I really should have done is painted the other side uh, black, but I quite like it. It looks like there's something happening in there, and there really, really isn't. It's just a reflection off my ceiling. So there we go. Um, four years late, but this is a, a, a final signing off um, video for this ship.